Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Meta Money. This is another episode of Good Morning Metaverse, the hottest metaverse news that you're not going to find anywhere else. My name is Jay Chains. Thanks for coming along with us and make sure that you like and subscribe our channel. All right, what are we going to be talking about today? Yeezy is entering the metaverse. The weekend is going to team up with Binance and Andy Warhol is going to sell his work as NFTs. Well, maybe not him, but all right, let's get into our first story. Kanye West trademarks Yeezus for potential NFT debut. Now, Kanye could be preparing to launch NFTs and other blockchain-based tokens and a new filing suggests the United States Patent and Trademark Office documents revealed Wednesday of last week said that the award-winning artist had filed 17 new trademark applications including one that specifically covers blockchain-based non-fungible assets. Those are NFTs, uh, some currencies, and some tokens. Now, the application, dated May 27, seeks to secure West Yeezus trademark for use in providing an online marketplace for buyers of cryptocurrency, digital collectibles, and blockchain-based non-fungible collectibles, assets, currencies, and tokens like we mentioned earlier. The 16 other applications concerning the Yeezus logo cover a wide range of uses, including amusement parks, physical and online retail stores, toys, games, sporting equipment, clothing, and cosmetics. Wow, he is going to be doing a lot. Now, in a since-deleted Instagram post from February 1st, West told followers to stop asking him to create NFTs, stating that he was more interested in building real products in the real world. However, West ended his post with Ask Me Later, indicating that he wasn't completely close to the idea of launching NFTs in the future. As there are several possible directions Wes could go in utilizing digital assets, it's not yet clear if anything the musician will do first with the new trademark filings. In our second story of today, The weekend teams up with Binance to use Web 3.0 tech and launch NFTs for his global tour. The world's largest crypto trading platform, Binance, has spread the word that has inked a partnership with the Canadian super our singer The Weeknd. Binance will be an official sponsor of his new global tour After Hours Till Dawn, which will start later this summer, 2022. This will be the first ever concert tour where Web 3.0 technology will provide a better experience for fans during the singer's live performances on stage. As part of this project, Binance is teaming up with HXOUSE, an organization for entrepreneurs in the creative sphere. Now, this is going to help the exchange to create a special NFT collection for the singer's tour and merchandise that's going to feature both the weekend and that diamond logo from Binance. Now, aside from that, Binance will make a donation of $2 million to the EXO Fund, which the weekend set up earlier this year as a global goodwill ambassador for the WFP, the UN World Food Program. Binance and the weekend are also going to create a separate collection of NFTs in order to donate 5% of the profits from its sales to the EXO Fund. All right, guys, in our last story for today, Andy Warhol's work will be sold in 961 NFT fragments. Andy Warhol is still relevant, so it seems 961 fragments of an original piece by the renowned artist created in 1967 will be going on sale, but this time 961 people will be able to acquire an NFT fragment for the art piece. Each of the fragments has a value of around $55. If all the NFTs are sold, the artwork will be worth about $53,000 in total. Now the buyers of the NFTs will own a small part of the actual piece, and each NFT of the Andy Warhol piece is accompanied by a a signed release of rights from the owners of the original physical piece. Now that piece is made up of 10 portraits printed in a repeated pattern on polyurethane cubes of different colors. Holding the sale is Mexican company Cubic, backed by LS Galleria. The piece is called Portraits of the Artist 1.7. There are only 200 copies in the world. Cubic will sell work number 172, signed by the artist. Now, Although you are buying a piece worth $55, you will be receiving the same treatment as someone who buys a piece of about $600,000 with the LS Gallery. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Good Morning Metaverse. Hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week, and we'll see you next Monday for some more Good Morning Metaverse.